On the banks of Washington's Puget Sound, the views are breathtaking. And customers say, so is the food. Yet in the kitchen of Ivar's Mukilteo Landing, a disturbing sign of the times. This is a beautiful portion right here. But then all of a sudden today, when I go in to look into the box, I get one like this. The guests are expecting something that would be, you know, about like that yeah. thick. That's plump. The yes, color is gorgeous. This is thin and pale. Exactly. Executive chef Craig Breeden will send that smaller piece back. Ten years ago, how often would you get a piece of fish like this and how often do you get it today? Ten years ago, we wouldn't see anything like this. What Breeden sees is backed up by a recent scientific study. The salmon sandwich. The salmon he gets from Alaska are shrinking as much as 8%. Why? Scientists point to salmon returning to fresh water at a younger age from a hotter ocean. On the East Coast, it's clams. Climate change has devastated the shellfish industry in, in Maine. There really isn't the clams that they used to be. The productive acreage of mudflats in, in our community has decreased by you know, over 80% over that time. Chad Coffin leads the Maine Clammers Association. I'm a 10th generation Freeport resident. My family's been clamming and fishing in, the, in this area for, you know, generations, and it's something that's it's just been kind of passed down and, and part of who we are. Now Coffin wonders for how much longer. In 1976, when it was still cold, we harvested anywhere between 35 and 40 million pounds of soft shell clams a year, and last year we were under seven. It was the lowest total in 90 years. Whether in Maine or here in Washington state, the problem is the same, warming waters. And that's impacting the foods you love to eat. Seattle is synonymous with salmon. Here in the Ballard Locks, boats aren't the only things traveling through. From an underwater viewing room, the public can watch the salmon as they head back into Lake Washington to spawn. What's the route that salmon travel? But biologist Lauren Ergensen says for years now, there are fewer salmon to see. We attribute that to climate change. How do you know it's climate change? So we have decades of air temperature data and water temperature data in this watershed. And the information that we have suggests that increasing water temperature is a limiting factor for these salmon. Ideally, the water should be no warmer than 59 degrees. But over the last decade, it's too warm as much as 92% of the time when the salmon return. Warmer water actually holds less oxygen. So salmon have to work much harder to breathe. And so it takes a lot more energy. Here, salmon do face predators like seals and sea lions. But the warming waters have had the biggest impact on the size of the fish population. The last time there was able to be a fishery on sockeye salmon was in 2006. So you have to have 350,000 sockeye to be able to fish in our watershed, and that hasn't happened in almost 15 years. All this means shrinking choices on Ivor's menu. King salmon is now a rarity. It might only be a nightly special versus having it on the core menu. And prices are higher, as they are for clams in New England. This clam shack paying $100 more a gallon. Driving prices up and supplies down, invasive green crabs that thrive in warm water and feast on clams. The warming oceans is basically unleashing these predators. To, they're, they're proliferating in, the new, in their warming environment. It's becoming like a jacuzzi for green crabs out here. They're eating everything. They're eating the clams, they're eating the shore, they're eating everything. The Gulf of Maine warming faster than most of the world's oceans, exacting a brutal price. I think that politics has really muddied the, the issue for us. And it's not really about, you know, whether you believe in climate change or anything like that. It's really about, you know, the water has warmed and it is warming and it is having you know severe and widespread impacts on fisheries and environments it's devastated a lot of commercial fisheries here in maine uh, namely soft shell clams scallops mussel fishery is is almost completely gone destroying food and culture clams out of maine what what cowboys out of texas salmon is vital it's vital to our economy and it's vital to our ecosystems. Now under siege from climate change. 
Ann Thompson, NBC News, Seattle. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.